My connection starts with Loyola High School. It's a long family connection. I was one of the first 100 girls admitted to Loyola. My father was one of eight boys in his family, and they all went to Loyola College. I played on the high school football team, and then I subsequently played for the college team. And the 1962 team is in the Hall of Fame. What you learned there was a, a sense of community and fairness. I borrowed 400 bucks from the corner grocer to, uh, to pay my tuition. And I had never taken a course in English because when I went to HSC, they said, no, you gotta give us three more years. I said, three more years? You, you gotta get, be kidding me. I, I can't afford that. You know the motto for the Jesuits? A man for others. That's the motto of the Jesuits. So that's how I got shaped. We were encouraged to, have to think about issues. We were encouraged to debate. The Jesuits taught me a tremendous amount academically, but even as much as that, they taught me a lot outside the school. We had such great school spirit in those days, we, uh, both at, at, at the football games, the hockey games, the basketball games. We knew everybody, you know, effectively. Uh, so it was very, very fun. I did a paper on um, the image of women in Canadian history. And it was an area, this is the, the late 60s, early 70s, so women's history was just, women's issues were just be really coming into the forefront. And I got the paper back and on it was written, um, this is an important area of research that needs to be continued. And I still have that paper today. So I think for me, that was just such an incredible encouragement. They had frosh night. Each, each of the senior guys had to bring a date. Gret and I ended up going. And we would walk that campus in step. Every day we'd do two, three miles around the campus just talking about what we were going to do with our lives. The campus has always been magnificent. When the merger happened, I think the, the values that, con well, at the time Sir George had, it was a very open university, it was a university that, that really thought of Sir George as the place that for all the people. Um, and I think when the two institutions came together, the, um, the respect and the tolerance and uh, the encouragement to think about diversity merged really well with Concordia's mission to educate everyone. George Williams had his own culture and character and brought great value to the marriage. Concordia has grown out of that and Concordia uh, is, I think, makes a, I think makes a remarkable contribution to Montreal and Canada. The number of graduates who have come out of uh, the two Liolas uh, who are leaders in Canadian philanthropy is very, very special. Interesting to me to see how the new buildings, particularly the new science building on Sherbrooke Street at West Broadway, how they complement the older buildings. Uh, I, I go to the gym at the Perform Centre and I love it there. It's so nice and clean and well equipped. So it's changed a lot, but it's maintained its character, I think. If you ask students why they enjoy their years at Concordia, not only it's the learning experience, the social experience, working in a very diverse environment, but also working as a, living as students here in a city that's pretty unique. Those professors were amazing. And I credit them with a lot of, of the confidence I had when I moved on to, uh, to the rest of my career. Yeah. I met friends for life, and I think that was, uh, to me, uh, it, it was about the people. Uh, they say, first of all, know yourself. Second of all, get yourself some goals. Third of all, okay, when you're finished the task, be very strict in how you analyze how you did, and do all of that with love. Love of yourself, love of the people you're dealing with, and love of the people that you're trying to help. And that philosophy just stuck with all of us, I guess, over the years. It was all, it was all very part of, part of my life in a very profound way.